Hey YouTube, it's Alicia Burton and I have a WWE recap video. Man, I have not done a recap video in a long time. So if you see my hair, I have a new product in my hair. Um, it's easy to get. I will tell you, I will tell you, I will do a video on it, excuse me, but I will give a full update on it in two days. So let's get, um, we'll get started on this WWE. So the first thing I want to talk about is Ronda Rousey getting Stephanie McMahon again. So Stephanie McMahon comes out there. She's kind of stiff. Got her hand under her jacket with the brace. Okay. All right. And she started running her mouth. And sometimes when Stephanie McMahon runs her mouth, her mouth gets her in a lot of trouble. Well, tonight on last night, it got her in trouble again. Did I think uh, Ronda Rousey had a right to do what she did again last night? Mm, she shouldn't have done it, but but I'm going to put a but in it because Stephanie went too far by saying, oh, I'm the one. She started, you know how Stephanie gets when she goes, I'm the one. She does. She has done it to Ronda Rousey. Done it to Ronda Rousey. Done it to Seth Rollins. Done it to Roman Reigns. Oh, yeah, and has done it to Kurt Angle. Okay. Ronda Rousey put her back in the Kindle lock again and damaging the arm even further. Took the brace off and damaged it even further. Do I think Stephanie did the first injury I understood um yeah, I understood she did deserve that. The second injury made it even enforceful. Alright, so that got me to thinking, oh, Triple H is gonna um gonna be in charge now and Kurt Angle's gonna have to have, um attention with him all right so we saw commercials so before i get even further um so let me just keep i'm still on this particular thing um i don't know how but some, somebody i uh, must be in jojo ear and it must have been a producer or it should it might have been triple h and they told jojo to tell so the audience was like going was calling her um, bull and shh at the same time, okay? And as that was going on, I think JoJo got something from somebody in the back that's in her ear and saying, and she told the audience, oh, let's have some respect. Of, uh, told the audience, can you please give Stephanie the respect? As she's leaving the ring. And I'm going, the fans is not too pleased with her. How you've been treating, um, how you've been treating Kurt Angle and how you've been treating Ronda Rousey. Okay. Now, what I got to say about that, um, it, it was full forced. So, then we had a women's tag match. So, Nia Jax come out there. And then who brings her little ass, excuse me, y'all, part of my language, but who brings her little Blissy, but out there, Alex Bliss, complaining like Nia Jax is not who she says she is. Da 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 da. She's the bully. She's the one who bulldozed over uh Mickey. No, Nia wanted to make sure you can have no chance of winning, Alex. So what to do? Make it an equal opportunity. Make it an equal opportunity. Make. Take out Mickey James for for you and her can have a for you and her can have a fair match, and I just think it's time for WWE to um, WWE to start doing stuff like this. Now she going, oh, you don't have a partner. She go, actually, I do. And when um the biggest debut ever for the women's division. Let me tell you, Oscar debuted earlier this year. About freaking time, and I was excited about that. I screamed at the top of my lungs. And when Nia Jax said the formal, when she said the formal NXT Women's Champion, I knew who she was talking about. Because none other Amber Moon make her debut match on Raw. And this is what I wrote. 
high fly, high fly, high fly. That girl was good last night. And if I could say anything, Amber Moon is literally a female version of Eddie Guerrero. Oh, um, when it comes to comparing certain females to Eddie Guerrero, I would say you can compare, you can compare, you can you can compare Amber Moon to that, and you can also compare Sasha Banks. So they got so almost sort of kind of like the same um style, but deal. So then, hold up, I think everybody have heard of No Way Jose from NXT. Yes, he debuted last night. Man, they had this. Jose was, had this like kind of light line, and he went in and he did his he did his thing. Jose was facing this guy named a John Skyler. Jose ended up winning, and I believe before I move on, um, Nia Jax and Ember Moon end up winning. They match. Um, no way, Jose actually won his match against Skyler, and that was a quick win. Let me just tell you that. A quick win. Now, we had a tag team. We had tag, we had a tag team elimination due to Braun Strowman and his partner, 10-year-old Nicholas. <laughs> Nicholas relinquishing the title because he had, um, Braun Strowman said he had prior engagements, meaning he's still in school, y'all. So then here comes Seamus and was our oh well, well since they can't be da 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 da, -da champion, then give us our title belt back. They and they go no, you're gonna have a chance to win your title belt, but I'm not giving it to you because you're gonna be facing two. Whoever wins tonight's turn on tag team tournament, you, you will face. And Saudi Arabia, y'all. I, I think it's Saudi Arabia or Sudan, some somewhere. And I like, uh oh, this gonna be good. And so Kurt and like they say, you but well, that's still I fell. Kurt ain't gonna go, hold it. You lost to a 10, 10 year old. Uh baby. I bet it's a lot of memes. I bet y'all on anything. It's a lot of memes and a lot of jokes. Let me tell you my joke I got about this. And I'm going to tell y'all this. Seamus and Kazara, you want your title belts back? Uh, uh, baby, my work card ain't going to give you your title belts back. You got beat by Braun Strowman and a 10-year-old. Uh, looks like the 10-year-old finna have, he finna take your fame from your brothers. <laughs> So, yeah. So, first it was Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson versus uh, Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder, better known as The Revival. But The Revival came out on top. They has been doing pretty good. I give it to them, but I really wanted Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson to win because they, I think, is more deserving than they are. All right. But then you have Apollo Crews and Titus O'Neil. From Titus Worldwide with Dana Brooks by their side and Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt. Y'all, that was a good match. But uh, Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt end up winning. So next week it will be the Revival versus Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt. So we're going to have to see what's going to happen with that. So. Then we had um, Seth Rollins and Finn Balor come out there. Uh, Seth Rollins come out there as Ty saying he do not want to be traded to SmackDown. You don't have a... I'll get to what I say that. And um, uh, Finn Balor comes out and said, Oh, congratulations to you, but I want to be the first person to challenge you for that. Then here comes The Miz and The Miz Taraj. Miz going, oh, if anybody challenged for that title belt, it's me. Da 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 da. He said, my wife and my little girl was crying because I lost. Are you kidding me? You gonna pull that card? And then he said, oh, I had the um bow and um Curtis Astro to come out here because I know I can't defeat you. And they go, uh, what'd you just say? And they and Miz go, how about uh it be you two? Versus us. 
And before anything can happen, anything can get that go down, it get happen or anything. Guess what, y'all? Jeff Hardy joined the refray. So now it ended up becoming to be a six man tag match. Y'all, I got to see that six man tag match. Yes, it was. And um, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, and Jeff Hardy end up winning that particular match. That is, I, I, I mean, it was a no brainer that Miz wasn't going to win that match without Jeff Hardy. Without, uh, and I really, I'm going to do, a, I'm going to go a little in depth. Um, men's his wrestling career and what I think of it and everything because I don't have, I don't have a lot to say and y'all will have a different perspective from my point of view about men's. All right, so yeah, then we had Sasha Banks versus Mandy Moore, but due to Bailey, um, Bailey comes out there and then missing, um, Bailey miss. Uh, mistake with had to do with um, Mandy Moore. Mandy Moore kind of taunted her, but then she ended up hitting Sasha, and um, so we're gonna. Well, so Mandy ended up picking up a win, but that I feel like that this is a bad um, um what they trying to do with her with um Sasha and um Bailey. That's not a good idea. But I'm just going to say this. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. And stuff. I will say this. I just feel like this is just a bad. So next week it will be Sasha Banks versus Bailey, And we're going to see what's going to happen with that. So then... Paige got in the ring and she started talking about she enjoyed her time and I'm going, uh-oh, she's leaving the company. Not leaving the company, y'all. That's what I thought at first. She was going to be leaving the company and stuff. No, she is retiring due to her neck injury and she could not. She said she wanted to be part of the women's revolution. She said Daniel Bryan is giving her hope. So I hope um, one day she do have the chance to return to the WWE. And if not, I, I want to wish her best wishes. You have gave us a lot. And then she did it in New Orleans. And if you remember when Paige first appeared on Raw after the WrestleMania show, after WrestleMania, it was against AJ Lee. And AJ Lee was the women's champion at the time. I'm, now I'm going to reflect. With AJ Lee about with this with Paige for a minute. It was right after WrestleMania. Paige challenged her for a match. Paige was NFC Women's Champion at the time. Y'all, I have this to say. She went in, she gave Paige, gave AJ Lee the run for her money. And in Russell after WrestleMania, I can't remember which WrestleMania, but it was it was WrestleMania four years ago that Paige accomplished something that no NXT girl person has ever did. And the youngest to do it is she beat AJ Lee and to become the women's champion. Every all the women in the back congratulated her, and I just thought, oh my god, that's accomplishment. And she had to relinquish at the time. She had to relinquish the women's NXT Women's Championship. I'd say Paige has came a long way. She, um, her, I can literally say, Paige's best feud has ever has always been with AJ Lee. Um, her time on on her time. Um. On Total Diva, she has gave us a lot with that. Um, she um, but then you don't forget. We're gonna find a little bit more about her when the when Rock's movie about Paige will come out. Now I'll do a separate video about that at a later date. But y'all, yeah. So then you have Elias. He's out there singing his song. All of a sudden, do 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 do. I'm going. I don't recognize his music. I just like, I don't recognize the music, who it is. 
It was a speculation for so long. All oh, last week and this um last week and week for two weeks two weeks prior for two weeks going on. They said Bobby Lashley's gonna return to the WWE this at um WrestleMania at WrestleMania 34. 34. We didn't know how he was gonna return, but they they thought he was gonna return at WrestleMania. That happened. No, it didn't happen. It came after WrestleMania. He returned after WrestleMania. Baby Bobby Leslie came out there. He looked. He looked. He looked at Elias. Then eh, 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 get in that ring. He went after Elias and he held Elias up. Like I mean he held him up. And he held him up by his arm by him. And he started doing this with one arm. And then pounced him down. Man, I say this. I loved it. I loved it to the team. I just loved it. I loved it. And um, I just say this, y'all. I just say this. Having Bobby Leslie back, man, I might do a video who I think will be a good for you for Bobby Leslie to be in. So that video will be coming. So then, who walked in there? Newly fired from SmackDown. Kevin Owens and Sammy Zayn. So now they realize what they had done. And, 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 and Kurt Angle said, you got problem with management. He said, I got one spot left. He said, but... Both of y'all will have to wrestle each other, man. They they gave on a match, but nobody got back up at the count of ten. So it was a nobody didn't. They didn't get on the spot. So I hope Kurt Angle just saw how good they were and just go, hmm, like. So Kurt Angle, and then Kurt Angle like going, oh, TNA high. That was sort of like a, I think, I think he was like, it was a diz or a dig towards TNA. I don't know. It's, to me, it sounded like a dig towards TNA. <laughs> so, yeah, we wanted to see what's going to happen with that situation. But then, as Roman Reigns was down there, he was talking about his, talking about his match. He said, yeah, he was like, just like. Um, just talking about how brutal it was, and then like start talking about Brock Lesnar, saying, "Oh, he's the golden boy to Vince McMahon." Da 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 da. And I have to agree with Roman Reigns about that. My uncle's getting mad because I just said that, and I just I feel it. It's like what? Mm, excuse me, I'm not feeling so well today, but um. Um, then after he, he was finna get ready to leave out, and before he could leave out and get out of the ring good, Samoa Joe. He now has returned. I will tell y'all this. Um, it, it was a good, um, Monday Night Raw was good. Now, I'm gonna have another WWE video tonight because we're gonna do Raw out of all the debuts that debuted tonight, I am um, Authors of Pain debuted. I forgot. Let me pull up uh, before I forget. Authors of Pain debuted. Pretty good. You had Authors of Pain debut, No Way Jose, and Amber Moon. The one I was so uh, alighted and excited about, I will have to say, it will have to be Amber Moon. I am so excited of that. Now, out of all the returns from between Samoa Joe, Bobby Lashley, Jeff Hardy, I'm pleased. I'm pleased with the returns. Now, I'm like, I'm kind of disappointed because haven't returned. I don't know what was his old wrestling name, but I know he's going to be going by his old wrestling name. But um, I hope he returns soon. Or he might just, like, wait until... So, as y'all know, starting next Monday and Tuesday, we will have none other than the Superstar Shake-Up. Now, y'all, 
Saturday. I, I, I want y'all to stay tuned to my channel for Saturday because I will be putting together um, male and female wrestlers from Raw and SmackDown who I believe should stay on Raw. So though these will be two videos who should stay on Raw, who should um who should stay on Raw, and who should go to SmackDown. And same thing with SmackDown. I'm going to break these up into two videos. And so I hope y'all uh, get that. And then I'm gonna actually tell I'm, I'm gonna actually include NXT of which NXT other NXT stars I feel like it's time for them to make come on to the main roster but i'm gonna say this i love amber moon i supported her career while she was in nxt i am happy that she is on the main roster now i think her aligning herself with nia Jax is pretty good now as long as nia Jax is doing this um i'm gonna say as long as nia Jax is doing this uh feud with Alex Bliss, and you know, Alex Bliss got uh, Mickey James as her a protector and helping her to contain and helping her. Nia Jax need to have Amber Moon in the same way, but give her more space for her to build her um, career as also as well. But y'all, give me, and the question of the day is, who were you surprised to see? make a debut or return i will actually say my surprise um debut was amber moon i thought she would never get on the main roster but my surprise return was bobby lastly i would have never expected thing in so many years that he would turn to the wwe so y'all until then i'm alicia burton don't forget to thumbs up this video comment below and subscribe